Hey guys. So, there was not a video last night really quick because my institute class finished up last night and the teacher said, oh, we're going to go out with a bang. Well, we did. We discussed some stuff and had a wonderful lesson. Then, in the parking lot, <laughs> I, well, first it started out in the kitchen and we just talked and talked and talked and talked. From We didn't get out of class. Normally, it's supposed to go from 7.30 to 8. It went from, uh, we kind of went a little bit over, it's about 9.10, so we talked until 9.40 in the kitchen of the Institute building. Then, we took it outside, we're like, oh, it's getting late, we better go. We talked until 10 o'clock, literally 10 o'clock in the parking lot. Then we got into the vehicle, came home, got to where we, because we carpooled, so got to where we were, and that was about 11 o'clock. So we left at 10, got there at 11, got home at midnight, guys. <laughs> she must to say it was midnight, and I just thought, nope, I'm not going to post a video. I came in put all my junk on the floor, like I had to do an IT project for Institute, so I had the bin, I had stuff all over the floor, I had, I had gotten dinner from a local restaurant, and had eaten part of it before I left, and then brought the other half in here, I had clothes all over the floor, I had gone to town, that was all over the floor, anyways, so today I just spent cleaning that up and getting it ready. So enough of me jib jabbering. Um, it's time for today's book review Friday. And for today's book review Friday, it is one of my favorites that I have read over and over again. And I finally was able to find it and get it. But it is called Drops of Gold by Sarah M. Eaton. And I've said this before, I am not, I do have a few romance books that I like, and that I enjoy reading, and this is, and then, but I don't like it when it overpowers the book. So this is one where, yes, there's romance, but it talks about, or er, it has a very well-written character development, and it's, very well put together, and it's, okay, this author has, um, how do I describe it, she's got series, it's kind of like a series, I guess you can say, that she intertwines together, and this one is with her, she has a thing called the John Quill Brothers, and so this is one of the John Quill Brothers, and in it, he's lost his wife, and they have a, he has a, had a, oh, I'm not talking straight. He lost his wife, and his wife had, they had had a child together. So, he was trying to find a governess, and a, let me think of her name, Marion. So, she comes as, Ian as the governess, because when she loses her family, she thinks that she's lost everything. And that she's pulling things, and it's just the character development at the start of the story. Like it shows everybody in their lowest form at the start of the story, and then it builds them up, and it builds them up, and it builds them up. And yes, romance is a thread in there, but like I said, character development is in there, and there's adventure in there and the title which I don't want to spoil you will find out the title in here and it plays there's a, I think it plays a crucial part in the story I guess you can say and I really am like the author I feel pulls me in and I'm in the story with them with the characters and I feel like I'm back in this Regency time period. Is this pizza? There we go. So, <laughs> I really love that. And she's 
got with the John Quill Brothers books. There's a few more, and it tells their own story. And I just got done reading another one. Well, it's a brand new one that she just put out about the John Quill Brothers, and I fell in love with that one. And it put, there's another book about the John Quill series that she took this new book here that she wrote, and she brought some from this other book of another brother and combined it. And you could tell that she put in another one in there too. And so for me, I was like, ooh -hoo, I know where this is coming from kind of thing. And it was like a little treasure hunt for me. And that's what I feel like it was a treasure hunt, I guess you can call it. And another thing is about this book is, like I said, I've said this before and said this before, that it is good and clean book to read. That you can feel comfortable reading it and then prescribing it to a someone younger than you or your mom or your, even your grandma. I prescribed this, or I shouldn't say prescribed, I told a friend that she should read it and she is, I want to say, 15, 16, somewhere there. And so I was just like, and she loved it and then gave it to her sister who's 10 and she read it. So I'm grateful out there for clean authors that write cleanly. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, that's my two bits on my book, but if you guys have any suggestions for books, leave them in the comments below because I will respond to your comment and I am planning on, I don't know what I'll give away yet, but on the 50th book review, which is a ways down there, we're on 38, the 50th book review, I plan on doing a giveaway. So if you want to participate in that giveaway and be here for that giveaway, you'll need to be a subscriber. So I just don't know how I'm going to work this, but if you want to see it work out for me, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video, which is tomorrow and tomorrow, we'll see. I've got some experiments that I want to do, but, and I don't know how I'm going to do the giveaway. I think I just don't know how I'm going to do life tomorrow. We'll see what tomorrow brings. It's going to be an adventure, I can tell you that. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.